Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I run FTP Honor uh, in virtual machine on my laptop. Um, as you can see my screen, I installed VMware Workstation 8. I also installed IC, uh, Linux and the price for ICP. Okay. And then I installed uh, FTP Honor in this uh, Linux server. Okay. Uh, let me load the uh, virtual machine screen and go into the uh, Linux server. Yeah, here we go. Um, you can run some command line and to get the uh, SCP Honor server status. Uh, by running this command, uh, get process this. You can get all the process currently running um, in the virtual machine. As you can see here, HTTP is the daemon, and this is the name server, and all the process are going and running. So that means your ICP partner server is running and works fine. Okay. And alternatively, you can also um, open the system monitor um, in the IC, uh, Linux server um, to have a quick view about your system uh, data. Okay. As you can see, this is the uh, CPU usage, this is the uh, memory usage. I don't be surprised about the high usage of the uh, memory because uh, I have only 8 gigabytes of uh, memory on my laptop and that's the reason why, it, um, I, why I am almost just running out of the memory. But in case you have more powerful server and more memory, uh, you won't have this case. Yeah? And, uh, uh, then you can also um, have a quick view about your ICP HORNAS. Um, this is in the uh, HORNAS building, the HORNAS fronting tool. Okay. Uh, here. There is the system. If you double click, and you will have this uh, global picture about your HORNAS database data. Okay, this is a uh, general information, database, memory, and the CPU usage. And yeah, and all the, uh, the database based usage, right? Because HANA uh, mainly store data in the main memory. So the, uh, the more data you import it to HANA, the more memory you need to uh, support them. Yeah. And then I go to the left panel, and yeah, here is the catalog. I can expand the catalog and go to the schema. Because I log on with the user role, so I have a schema role that's called, and then I go to table. Here you can create uh, any new table, and you can also import table, whatever you do, whatever you want. Here, um, take the list, for example. I create the list, I double click, and open it uh, in definition. And this is definition, this is here. And uh, you can also, uh, import data for the table is created here because I installed the latest SCP HANA. Uh, it's the SCP04. So there is a graphic tool to help you uh, in import data uh, inside of uh, writing SQL script to load data. Yeah. And you go to the quick launch and simply click the uh, import and choose the uh, data from local file and go to next. And here you can browse to choose your file once and port. For example, I choose the list and I close open and I choose the uh, hydraulic list. And the top people, uh, I choose existing, although you can create a new one because I have already created before. I choose the top people and go to the schema with uh, the table design. And I choose the uh, list, I click OK, and go to next. Uh, here you can choose how you do the mapping. I choose one by one. Or you can also choose the manual mapping. Here you can simple drag and draw. Yeah. This is simple data, and then you can go to next. Yeah. Here is the data from the local file, and here is data on the uh, existing table. Yeah. Uh, if you click finish, and then you will load it to your uh, table in HANA. Because this is just for demo purpose, I have already loaded data, so I just click cancel. 
Uh, but you can do the same for the REST table and load all the data to your uh, uh, to your HANA table. Okay. Once you get those done, and you can go to the content, and you can create your uh, content. You can see here I have the row as a packet, and you can create a new packet here. Okay. And then you can create all the index view. And here you just grab attribute view or unlike view or text view or unlike privilege or content you can create in the SP Home Studio. You can do here. Okay. For example, I create the unlike view as a mass data uh, by simply drawing the model to uh, a text the IMAX CD. And the link, as you can see, is a text join, and you have to choose a language column for the text join. Yeah. I also create the hierarchy for the uh, material because um, by this way you can group all the uh, material by material group or material type. Right. This is the material type. This is the material group. Yeah. Uh, and then you can go to the, the analytic view to create your analytic view. Uh, I create two here. I just take the field, for example, and uh, as you can see, the table is the VBAP, uh, as is known for the uh, SVP field or the item table. And this is the data foundation. And if you go to the logic view, I just put the uh, analytic I don't like the attribute view material I created before. Um, by joining the VBT to the material, I can get both the uh, uh, field order information and the uh, material information. They like the material group, material type also the uh, material description. Yeah, the text. Yeah. <coughs> and you can simply click the data preview uh, to see the data. Right. And you can also create the calculation view um, if you want some complex uh, calculation or more complex scenario. That would okay. be. Uh, here you can see the uh, calculation view created by the graphic tool. Yeah, you have two ways to create calculation view. Uh, one is by the uh, graphic tool here, yeah, as I did. And you can also choose the SQL script. You can write, all, write your own script to create the test function view. Yeah? And also, you can always right click and choose data preview uh, to check the data in your uh, table and in your uh, I mean the uh, content. Right? You have about uh, 100 records in the delivered table. Yeah? <coughs> Yeah, after you have finished the, uh, the model in HANA Studio, and you can consume your HANA data and in front of two like business office or Excel. Uh, I can give a quick uh, show about how to consume data in Excel. I go to the Excel. Yeah, here. And this is the data tab. And if you choose from other source, and you choose the from data connection data. Yeah, choose all and advanced. And I choose the MDX, uh, HANA MDX provider. I keep in mind you have to install the ICT HANA client uh, for sale on your, I mean, uh, laptop or PC. Uh, so that you have this option, I mean, the HANA MDX provide. Otherwise, you would be this, uh, uh, this uh, provide. I go to the next step. I just input the HANA information, as uh, HANA server information. Uh, HANA. Enter number And for the language, I put the English. Simply click the test and you see the connection is successful. I go to OK. Yeah. So you will see all the uh, uh, analytics 
six view or headless view, you just create it in your phone as you need. I just uh, choose the delivery, uh, the analytic view, you just create it before and I go to next. And I click this option to see password so that I won't input password again and search. I should say, and here is for the R uh, if I want to replace the existing part because I have a uh, um, created connection before. I just want to uh, replace it again. I just click here. Yeah. And I choose the uh, area we want to uh, import data from HANA. Okay, you want? I click OK. Here we go. Uh, you will see the paper table and on the right hand you will see all the uh, uh, dimensions and the mirror. Okay. And I can simply click the uh, material. Yeah. You will see all the material list in the, uh, the paper table. And you can click the plant. You will see plant. And I click the delivery quantity. Yeah, this is delivery quantity. And you can also simply switch the material and the plant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is a plant, this is a plant. So all the material groups by the different plants. They can also move the plant to the column label. Yeah, yeah here is both how you can consume your data in the Excel file uh, from the SAP HANA. Right? Yeah, that's all about it. Um, SAP HANA is designed for, uh, um, you know, the uh, big data in memory, and it requires specific uh, uh, hardware to install it. But for the learning and hands-on purpose, uh, it's still possible to run SAP HANA in virtual machine on your laptop, as I run here. So it's very convenient, and yeah, just like plug and play, and you will have much fun about it. Okay? And if you have um, any questions, or if you have any um, comments, whatever, uh, you can answer an email to this uh, address, bw com. I'm looking forward to your question, and thanks. And I hope you can enjoy this video.